morning. So reloader, this is reloader 523, covered from the man cave to the loading room. Um, we're going to do uh, part two on the Dillon XL750. On my previous video, I showed you my mounting desk and uh, how I got ready for it. And I finally got the press in a couple of days ago and uh, we're going to do some nine millimeter here. Um, this press is really amazing. It's so smooth. Um, I have been using three products all my reloading life. I learned on YouTube and uh, at least got good product, but you know, it's uh, always doing something. You're always fiddling around with something, it seems like. So I bit the bullet and I went with an XL 750 Dillon. I wanted to show you how this works and uh, what I have is set up for 9mm and in station 1 I have the depriming side the die in station 2 is the powder drop flaring die and also uh, super primer and in station 3 is the mini Mr. Bullet Feeder uh, station 4 is the seating die the RCPS seating die and five is the uh, crimp die made by Lee. But uh, it seems to be working pretty smooth. So I just wanted to show you how it works. And uh, pretty, pretty amazing machine. All right, guys. So here we go. Got case in there. Second station. Size is prime. Put the powder in. Station three will be the bullet feed. Station five will be the bullet seat. And then, then it goes into the printing die. So you can see, smooth. This really runs. Just a lot of healthy jerky on it. Um, set up properly. You can just crank these bullets off. Um, I imagine probably, I could probably do 120 minutes just to get to that line of surprise. But, um, it's just a really well built machine, it really is. Um, I've had no complaints with it, I've no problem setting it up. There is a guy on YouTube who does, uh, he shows you the Dylan. Procedure of setting it up, setting your dies up. His name is Gary. They call him the Human Manual. And if you watch that, um, let him out of bullets. What's in there? Bad thing. Sometimes we don't know when it's gonna run out. Yeah, kind of pay attention to that. But uh maybe Mr. Bullet Feeder worked really well on this press. Okay. Uh, a little hiccup there that was gonna run out of bullets, but you can see it's it's the bullets don't move when the when the um shell plate turns. They don't wiggle in a while. There's no chance of them falling off. Um I don't know, I just, uh, I'm really impressed with this machine, I really am. Once you get it fine tuned, you can just rip off a bunch of cartridges. And you need to turn my cartridges over, put some more cases in there. Uh, that's the problem if you don't have the automatic case feeder and the automatic bullet feeder. Um, right now I'm just, this is where I'm jammed up on here. Then seat all the way in there, maybe. There we go. Yeah, I just didn't see the frustration. Um, I still have that. And like I said, like, you just keep cranking away. And this thing. Performs very well, I must say. But uh, back to that YouTube that Gary calls himself a human manual. Um, I, 
actually haven't opened up the manual at all. I just watched the YouTube video and uh, got an upside down case there. That ain't gonna work. But you still gotta watch it. I mean, it's not like you can just leave it alone, you know. You want to get those upside down cases. But anyhow, uh, speaking of going manual and all this stuff, um, I do want to get that automatic case reader from uh, Kevin Roberts, excuse his name is. He's out in Thailand. He makes these. Um, bullet. The bullet here. Okay, just had to turn that. And get a bullet out of there. Up and down the ground. It's all right. We'll get it later. And we'll keep on going. Yeah, you gotta watch all your stations pretty much because um, you gotta watch your powder drop. I got a light coming. I'm gonna mount the light right here so I can see my powder drop. Make sure. I've got powder and everything here. Um, this is really consistent as far as the uh, powder drop. I mean, like point one grain off the bat. And the bullet seeding is just amazing. It's exact every time. Um, and uh, that's how it, how it goes, guys. I don't want to bore you too much with this, but um, I need more, more cases in there. But that's pretty much it. I mean, it's really a, a good machine. Um, it runs perfectly. It just does. And uh, being the lead guy that I am, if you've struggled with lead before, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, the climbing systems are tough to deal with. Um, yes, it's less expensive, but you get what you pay for, I guess. Um, for, for starters, I think the lead presses are good presses. Um, the four hole turret press is uh, the one that I recommend to start on if you're going to get into reloading. Uh, uh, that's a great press, too. So, um, that's about it, fellas. Everything's uh, up and running. And uh, like I said, just uh, be careful, take your time, uh, run uh, run at your own pace. You know, if you've got nothing to do, come on down, um, down here and, and, and do some reloading. Since there's football today, the Bills and the Jets play today. Go Bills. Um, that's about it. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please uh, like the video and uh, hit the alarm button so you get more of my videos. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good day.